What's up? How's it going? I have a challenge for you guys. I have the idea that I think this would be good for everybody. I learn best when I make my own challenges and then try and complete them. Maybe skiing or some out, uh, outdoor activity. You see a leaf on the ground and you're like, oh, I'm going to go around the leaf. And you do. And you're a better skier or performer or whatever because of the self defined challenge. So here's a challenge that I'm going to bring to you. I know seven ways to close an intercom cross point, to take an input and get it as an output. How many can you come up with? Pause the video, write them down, see how yours compare to mine. But here we go with my seven ways. This is has nothing to do with an existing intercom file, but I this will only work if I am connected to a live intercom. So I am connected to an intercom and I have uh, this little cheater, check him out. Port 70 is, mon the meter on port 70, 70 is monitoring my lavalier microphone as it goes into the intercom. And then 71 through 77 are all outputs of the intercom and they are named the same in the meter as they are in the intercom. So let's jump right into this. We are on port 70. There is no key panel attached here, but the keys still function. So for the first method of closing a cross point, I am going to go right click on the talk section and turn the key on. And look, my audio is passing right through the intercom and coming out of port 71. Do, 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 done. Now we're going to look at technique number two. I've already done some typing just so I don't have to resend the changes all the time. Sometimes that's avoidable, sometimes it's not. So port 72 is the target of my next technique. What I'm going to do is since he's in the first spot here, the first key of the intercom panel, I'm going to go here and I'm going to choose Vox. And I'm going to enable this Vox with a threshold of 31. And I'm not done anything else except send the change. Ta-da! And now we're getting audio out of port 72. And if I talk consistently and long enough, you can see the talk key has magically turned on. And if I'm silent long enough, you will see it turn off. Pretty cool. You will see that again later. Now we're going to go on up to port, I don't know, maybe 73 and go for technique number three. Right click, turn on the listen key. And look, port 73 is just chattering with my voice, just like all the rest. Pretty cool, right? Okay, um, we're gonna get a chance to check back through this at the end of the video, but we are flying. Technique number four comes through the PL. I've chosen a random PL. I'm going to make 70. Ooh, I need to do this. 70 is a talker in the PL, and 74 is a listener. Yellow bars mean unsent changes. So I'm going to go back to uh, this, and I'm going to send the change, and look. Bam! Port 74 is now passing my voice. I am not going to get bogged down in the weeds of this next one because I could spend 10 minutes explaining this one, all the things to you. But I want you guys to cruise with me to the cross points page where we can see the gospel of what the intercom is doing. And if I will use my consistent talking voice, we will see 71, 2, 3, and 4 matching 71, 2, 3, and 4. The fact that the cross point is closed. And if I'm silent... You'll see that check mark disappear on 72. All right. So there is a lag in reporting, but if you know the lag, you like allow the lag, you can always see that cross point opening and closing. 
I just wanted to address that distraction. We're here to press a button on 75 to get the fifth path out. Path number five, we're gonna do, okay, so this is how you read this section. Port 70 is talking to 75. No, it is not, but we can force it. We get a little F right there and 75 isn't talking yet, but if I send this change and press enter, check mark, volume meter, 75 is talking. In the inverse of this, we for the next one, we're gonna go to port 76. Look, right here, 76 is not filled with anything, but we're gonna go to the other side and we're gonna go up here to do this as technique number six on port 76. We're gonna to go to the listen side. Just a reminder, this is what this says. Port 76 is listening to, well, nothing in this area, but if we put 70 here and we force to listen to 70 here, I do my metering verification. I press the change and boom. Look at that, we are talking 76 is listening to 70. And if we go back down to 70 here, we get another check mark, which we didn't put there, the intercom put there, because 76 listening to 70 is the exact same as 70 talking to 76. Right? All right, and so now, we have learned from the cross points, we have used party lines, we have used virtual key panels, we have used the Vox, now I'm going to show you, hey, wait, 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 wait. I want you guys to notice this. I'm saving the best, my preference technique for last. And it has not anything to do with the cross points page or how we get that check mark in there. It actually has to do with the documentation that the intercom provides for us and this housekeeping. All right, so the next technique I'm going to use is an IFB. Oh look, I left a note in here which somewhat highlights. This is method number seven. Just, just a little behind the scenes, this is not the first time I've done this video. It's like the 33rd. And so I forgot to take that note out of there but it highlights the point. When I am doing stuff in here, I can make a note. And I actually want to use IFB number 21 for this purpose. The reason I like this purpose, the, this method the best, is because I can see them. They're obvious. And when we do this to 21, I'll show you when we get done what information we can see on this summary screen. So we're going to double click in here. We're going to say the source is... Say it with me, 70. And the destination or the output, 77, right? Okay, so we're done with that. And all we have to do is send the change? Really? Yes, that is in fact true. I don't have to give the key to anybody. In fact, I don't wanna give the key to anybody. But I have input 70, which you can see here going to 77 for this reason. So this is been seven methods to close cross points. Hopefully you guys are bubbling with questions. Discussion better than answers. So what do you think? How'd I do? Um, what did you come up with on your seven that I didn't? And I don't know, other thoughts? So let's hear from you. Cross points, closing seven, closing cross points, seven different ways.